Unidata AWIP's CAVE has a display tool for viewing soundings called NSHARP. To view a sounding from the RAYAB network in the NSHARP display tool, we can select a station from the upper air menu. Under the RAYAB heading, select a region, then choose a station. The NSHARP display tool includes several panes, the most prominent of which is the SKU-T pane. This pane displays the sounding on a SKU-T diagram and has sampling enabled. This pane is dynamic and allows you to pan and zoom to see the data easily. As we zoom in, we can see the dew point profile in green, the wet bulb profile in cyan, the temperature profile in solid red, and the virtual temperature in dashed red. The white dashed lines are the parcel traces for a selected parcel, which is the most unstable parcel by default, and the white dotted line is the downdraft parcel. The wind profile is displayed along the right side of the pane. To the right of the skew t pane is the sounding inventory. This lists all available soundings on the edX for the chosen site. You can click a specific sounding to view it, or you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to change frames. Below the skew t pane is the hodograph pane, which is also dynamic and allows for panning and zooming. To the right of the hodograph are the table output displays, which show calculated values associated with the sounding. In the table output display, you can select a parcel and see it reflected in the skew t. For example, if we select the surface parcel from the table, we can see its traces update in the dashed white lines. The lifted condensation level marker, labeled LCL, also updates. There is also a user-defined parcel option, which we can set using the tools in the Control Button tab. The Control Button tab includes many different features for interacting with NSHARP. To set the user-defined parcel, we select Parcel, then User-defined level, then input the desired level in millibars. The Previous Display Table and Next Display Table buttons, labeled PVDT and NXDT, allow you to switch table views and examine other data associated with the current sounding. Reset Display will reset the extent and zoom level on the dynamic panes to their original extent. The NSHARP display shows a lot of information, but also includes different display configurations that best suit your preferences. To change the display configuration, select Configure in the Control Button tab. Then, select Display Pane Configuration. In this dropdown, we can find four different display configurations. The SPC widescreen configuration, the default D2D SKU-T standard screen configuration, the D2D light screen configuration, and the OPC screen configuration. To use a display, select it from the dropdown and select Apply or Save. If you're interested in additional practice using NSHARP or other CAVE features, check out the Learn AWIPS CAVE e-learning course offered by Unidata. This course is self-paced, available on demand, and free to access. For more information about Learn AWIPS CAVE, check out the information in the description below. Thank you.